All right, Evan, go ahead and give it a try. See what you think. And be honest, if you don't think it tastes good, tell me. Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to today's vlog. Now the first thing I want to go ahead and do is give a quick shout out to all my Liverpool fans out there. I'm so thrilled that they were able to make it to the semifinals after demolishing Porto and I can't wait to take on Barcelona in the semifinals. But anyway, enough of that, let's jump into today's video. So you might have noticed that Evelyn and I are finally back in the kitchen and in fact, we have a recipe ready for you guys. Now if you guys have ever saw our older videos where we try to make our own Starbucks iced coffee because I don't know if you guys know, but man, Starbucks overcharges for that iced coffee. It might be really good, but at the same time, it's so inconsistent that I never know if they're actually gonna have a good one or if it's gonna come out either too sweet or not sweet enough or I don't know, something. So I found a recipe a long time ago to try to make some good iced coffee, but unfortunately, the last time we made it, it didn't exactly turn out the way we wanted. Now the biggest problem with our other recipe was we didn't have the half and half cream that I really needed to perfect the recipe. I try to make my own half and half by trying to mix like milk and I think I had condensed milk if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I don't exactly remember how the recipe was, but either way, the half and half did not work out whatsoever. Oh, I do remember. It was half and half whipping cream, no, sorry, half whipping cream and half whole milk, and it was a complete disaster. I mean, you were supposed to put like two thirds this and one third that. Either way, it just didn't work out, and luckily, we actually ended up finding some half and half cream over there in the 163 retail mall. No, was it? Retail 163 mall. Shout out to my friend and co worker Jen. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have been able to find the half and half cream and make this video. So, again, thanks, Jen. I appreciate you helping us out. All right, so you know what? Let's go ahead and show all the ingredients that we're gonna need to perfect this new recipe. Now one of the things that I did to improve my recipe was I actually made my own cold brewed coffee. In order to make this, I put about three ounces of ground coffee with I think three cups of water if I'm not mistaken, or two cups, something like that. I'll let you guys know down in the description below the exact amounts in the recipe uh, for the recipe so that way you guys can try it at home. But either way, I think it's about two or three cups of water with about three ounces of ground coffee, which is quite a bit. It's about like one and a half cups of ground coffee. You have to like chill it for about 18 to 24 hours, they recommend. So in fact, I made this around eight o'clock last night and it's about four, 4.30, five o'clock right now. So it looks like it'll be okay. The longer you guys leave the coffee in the bottle refrigerated for, you know, sealed up and in the grounds and everything, it's gonna be a little bit more bitter. So they recommend between 18 to 20 hours, 18 to 24, something like that. So I think it's been about 20 hours, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna strain it using some paper filters and pour it into one of our little measuring cups. So I ended up buying these coffee filters a long time ago at one of the supermarkets thinking we would need them, but I actually never ended up needing them because our coffee maker actually doesn't use paper filters. So we luckily had these just kind of laying around and you know, I finally get a chance to use them. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take one of these filters and we're gonna put it in one of these little strainer things that I have here. And we're gonna pour the coffee into our little jar that we have here, something like this, so that it filters out all the coffee grounds and just leaves behind all the coffee that we want. Alright, so you can see that this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of let this filter through and then we'll cut back right into it. Alright guys, so it's been about like 10-15 minutes after it took to filter all that coffee through the strainer. Uh, it actually came out really nice and you can tell that it's not going to have all the grains obviously in it when it's all filtered out, which is what you want. This is more or less what the uh, consistency of what you're looking for. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our cream mixture. So this is going to take three ingredients. We need the half and half cream, we need the vanilla extract, and we need the sweetened condensed milk. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take my half and half and it's gonna take one full pint to go ahead and add to our little mixture here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just open it up. Oh, I guess it's got a little seal on it still. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into a cup or a container or something like that. Something that's big enough to hold between two to three cups. Actually, no, it's gotta be at least three cups. Otherwise, you might spill. But anyway, here we go. So we're gonna add our full pint of half and half. Add out of the way so you guys can see it better. Okay, so right there we got a full pint of half and half. Okay. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one half cup of sweetened condensed milk and we're gonna add it to our mixture here. That's why I still got my liquid measurement here, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And we'll measure it out to a one half cup. About right there, looks pretty good. And just a little drop, a little dab will do it. And then what you're gonna notice is that once we add our sweetened condensed milk to our half pint here, or to our full pint, it's gonna start collecting at the bottom, and that's kinda what you wanna start to see. There you go, you guys can probably see it down there at the bottom. And then you get the rest of it out of the way, you can just kinda grab a spoon, and just scoop it all out, or if you got a spatula, it'd probably work a lot better so you don't really waste anything. But this is all we have. Now the next thing you want to add is one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And this is where you're going to obviously get your vanilla flavor from. Okay, so let's go ahead and measure it out. And you just dump it on in there. You can see it's a little gooey. Pour it in there. And now the last thing that you want to do is you want to grab your whisk and now you're going to start whisking all your ingredients together because you want this mixture to be pretty consistent. Like where it's all mixed together, that's what you want to get. You don't want to have it just like a bunch of layers like it has right now. So let's go ahead and whisk it up. And there you have it guys. That is what you're looking for. You can see that all of the condensed milk is gone. It's pretty much mixed up in there. And we're gonna go ahead and pour it into our container over here. Hopefully we don't make a big mess. That's what I'm really worried about. So, let's see. So there we have it. We're gonna go ahead and put them together and see if we can make some I'm super excited to give this thing a try. You know what? Here it goes. Oh man, that's... Okay, that tastes like an iced coffee from Starbucks. Oh my God, I'm super stoked about this. I am so happy I finally cracked a recipe that's gonna actually be, if not just as good, or better than a Starbucks iced coffee. I like using a darker roast coffee because it's gonna bring like a richer flavor to the coffee, but you know what? This one's really good. I, I mean, I am using a darker roast coffee, but I'm curious to see how it would be with like, with like a medium roast or something, something a little bit lighter. But personally, I like the darker roast. So if you like dark coffee, check out, I think they have a Kenya blend, I think is what it's called, but really, really good, super strong, and yeah, this is a hundred times better than the coffee that I made the last time. But I'm not gonna lie, it does take a little bit of effort to get this coffee made the way you want it to. For me personally, I mean obviously since it took me like 18 hours just to brew the coffee, 18 to 20 hours to brew the coffee, but you know what, the results are well worth it. It's got a really strong flavor, it doesn't taste like, like an old coffee that's been sitting in the refrigerator, it tastes fresh, it tastes delicious, and the the cream, the half and half makes it, the half and half mix that I tried to make did not come out nearly as good as this one. I, mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of blown away. This coffee is super, super good. 
Evelyn, you gotta give it a try. All right, Evelyn, go ahead and give it a try. See what you think, and be honest. If you don't think it tastes good, tell me. Mmm, I like that. Yeah, do you think this one came out better than the last time we tried to make this coffee? Sí, está mejor que el de la última vez. Super mejor. Para mi gusto yo podría ponerle más azúcar porque a mí me encantan las cosas muy muy dulces. Pero este está super bueno. Felicidades. That's why she loves me because I'm so sweet. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take this moment while I enjoy this delicious sliced coffee and kind of let you guys know about some of the things you would ask me in the comments. Some of you guys were asking me about the car situation because I mentioned I want to start building something soon. I do have plans lined up for that. I'm just looking for the right chassis to start building. I'm pretty much dead set on what car that I want to get to start building for the channel, but I gotta find the right chassis. I don't want to find the one that's all destroyed or all beat up, and I don't want to find one that's been too modified to where I can't really do anything with it. You know, I want to be able to enjoy it and kind of build it little by little on the channel so you guys can see the progress of it and hopefully motivate some of you to start doing the same. There is something in the works so stay tuned and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you can kind of get those updates make sure you hit that bell notification because you never know when something's gonna pop up you know I've been also posting a lot of photos up at the car show events so if you guys haven't check me out on Instagram on JDM S2K PTY I'll leave it right here so you guys can go ahead and check it out I got a lot of photos up there and luckily I've been able to connect with a lot of media people that are here in Malaysia and other people that are in the business kind of to familiarize myself with where to get parts and who I can go talk to about maybe helping me out with some of these projects so stick around don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe button you know all that good stuff that YouTube asks you to do because I want you guys to be a part of this build I'm actually gonna ask for a lot of your input so hopefully you guys can help me out so we're gonna go ahead and close out the video we're gonna go ahead and enjoy these delicious iced coffees Again, I'm gonna leave the recipe down in the description area below if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out. Again, I'm not a barista or anything like that, but dang, this coffee came out really, really good. And if you guys wanna take the time to do it, I highly recommend you do it. Cause you know what? We're gonna put Starbucks out of business with this coffee recipe. <laughs> All right guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.